Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hasham Ali Khan. So now I am continuing the lecture on the subject computerized accounting. The last two videos on computerized accounting have completed unit number two. That is uh, stock keeping units in tally ERP 9. So in the last two videos I have explained you about introduction to inventory masters in tally ERP 9. Then stock items, then stock opening balance, creation of go down creation of units of measurement all these things I have explained you in the last two videos so if you have not watched I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel select the subject computerized accounting watch the two videos of unit number two that is stock keeping units after watching those two then you can continue this unit uh, third video on stock keeping units in this video I am going to explain you about stock categories units of measure and options available in inventory masters in maintaining the stock in accounting software these three topics i'm going to cover up in this video so watch the video till the end to get the complete grasp on these topics these topics are frequently asked in examination so before explaining these terms take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can maintain a hard copy, a permanent record of all the topics that, so that you can confidently face the examination. Take a screenshot, then I'll explain. Huh. So now I'll start the first topic that is stock categories. In the previous examination, a theory question is asked regarding explain the stock category. First of all, in Tally ERP 9, there's a parallel classification of stock items and stock groups. This classification of stock items and stock groups is referred to as stock category. Now the classification of stock items will be based on the nature behavior functions on the basis of the nature of the items behavior of the items we are classifying the items into groups and the main advantage of stock category option in tally rp9 is it allows category stock items in different sub in different groups that means the nature of all the items will not be same so we will categorize we make the group of the stock items according to their nature according to their functions according to the similarities we classify the items into groups and this will enable to obtain the stock reports easily for specific category of item a business organization may be engaged in different types of stock items all the types are not same all the inventory items are not same so it will classify it will make the grouping it will categorize so the advantage is we can make specific reports for each item of stock for every different item of stock we can easily make the different reports that is the main advantage of categorization of stock items now in order to enable stock category in tally erp9 the following steps are required by default stock category will not be there you have to enable it if you enable stock category then only it will come under inventory info so until and unless you enable you activate by default this stock category will not be there so how to enable it the following steps are to be applied the first step go to gateway of tally as usual second step click on f11 button on the right side of the keyboard you will have f11 button press the f11 button then click on inventory features in that f11 you will find inventory features click the inventory features then set yes for maintaining stock categories it will ask you it will prompt you to answer whether yes or no for maintaining stock category for maintaining the stock category now here you have to select yes then now stock category option will be shown in inventory menu so inventory info so after making this yes then then inventory info will show you the stock category so if you do not follow these steps by default inventory info will not show the in stock category 
तो इन ऑर्डर टू इनेबल द स्टॉक कैटेगरी यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस स्टेप्स एंड इनेबल इट फर्स्ट स्टेप गो टू गेटवे ऑफ टैली देन प्रेस एफ इलेवन इन दैट एफ इलेवन यू विल फाइंड इन्वेंट्री फीचर्स प्रेस इन्वेंट्री फीचर एंड देन सेट यस फॉर मेंटेनिंग स्टॉक कैटेगरी वंस इफ यू प्रेस यस देन ऑटोमेटिकली दैट स्टॉक कैटेगरी विल कम अंडर इन्वेंट्री इन्फो दैट्स इट so this is the explanation regarding inventory category the next thing is unit of measure that is also an important part of inventory masters one of the important part of invest inventory masters measure unit of measure the way of measure differs from stock to stock that means every stock will not be measured in the same units different measure of unit is required for different stock items now therefore to set unit of measurement for each stock unit of measure option is used so in inventory masters unit of measure option is available so go to unit of measure option then select the unit of measure which you require for every stock item for every stock item you have to select what is the unit of measure for every stock item now displaying unit of measure now how to display where we will get the unit of measure so step by step i am explaining here step 1 open tally erp 9 click the on select company after opening the tally erp 9 click on select the company now select the company of your choice in which you want to make adjustment for unit of measure then select inventory info first step open tally erp 9 second select the company and third uh, select the inventory info the next step step number 4 click on units of measure under inventory info you will find unit of measure so click unit of measure now click on display and select any unit of measure for units list so already it is having the unit uh, list of units of measure list of units of measure already it is having so from that list of units of measure select the unit which you require for this particular stock item so these are the steps required for unit of measure how to activate the unit of measure right so two topics i have completed that is stock category and units of measure the third and the last topic in this video is options available in inventory masters for maintaining stock in accounting software so what are the options available in inventory masters for maintaining stock items in computer accounting accounting software package so every accounting software package will have this inventory masters so what are the components and what are the options available in this inventory masters so the basic options available in inventory masters for maintaining stock in accounting software erp9 presently we are discussing the accounting software erp9 that is tally erp9 so in this tally erp9 what are the options available for inventory masters for maintaining the stock so broadly we divide into three the inventory masters will have three options the first option is stock group the second option is stock item and third option is unit of measure remember this these are the three options available in inventory masters one by one i'll explain the first one is stock group so stock items are grouped in stock group on the basis of certain common behavior all the items are not same we have to classify the item according to their function according to their nature according to their similarity so group stock group means this uh, dividing that means grouping the item stock items into specific group on the basis of their behavior then with this grouping locating and reporting stock item in statement becomes an easy task the main objective of making the stock group is we can easily make the reports we can easily make the statements of every group of stock items every group of stock items so making reports will become easy when we make stock groups example one simple example i have given here 
the grouping of all items belonging to a specific brand a business is dealing with the different brands of goods different companies brands are there now the what the company what the business will do the business will make a group for every brand for every brand of goods a separate group is prepared so what is the advantage by going to that group we can be able to control or manage the inventory in that group in that group so uh, it will help in obtaining inventory details of all such items of that brand when we make a group of a particular brand we can be able to maintain we can be able to control the items in that group of that brand that is stock group second stock item stock item is the main inventory master the main inventory master is stock item in traditional accounting system in traditional accounting system we open ledger account for every item of stock for every item of stock a separate ledger account is opened the same ledger account what we call in traditional accounting in tally erp 9 we call it as stock item we call it as stock item so there in traditional accounting system it is ledger account here in tally erp 9 it is stock item so simply we can say ledger account is equal to stock item ledger account is in traditional accounting system and stock item is in computerized accounting tally erp 9 the so stock item is a ledger account so uh, for each item and this account is known as stock item in tally stock item option is used at the time of recording receipts and issues of stock item this option of stock item will be used whenever there is a receipt of stock whenever there is issue of stock whenever that stock item is purchased and whenever the stock item is sold or issued we will make use the option stock item and uh, every item which need to be accounted for must be created so before entering into stock item we should create the stock item without creating the stock item we cannot enter the data in stock item so before making the accounting for stock item we must create the stock item so this that's all now last item last option in this uh, inventory master is unit of measure just now i told you the way of measurement differs from stock to stock the way of measurement will differ from stock to stock every stock will may have every stock may have different measure different measure so therefore a set of measurement for each stock unit of measure option is used for deciding what is the measure unit of measure for every stock we have to use the option unit of measure so whenever we record the stock item we have to enter the unit of measure for this stock item now the various items used under inventory info in tally screen is as follows practically when you open the tally screen the what are the what are the information you will get for inventory is here inventory masters is here so first of all gateway of tally on the screen gateway of tally under gateway of tally inventory info so under inventory info we'll get stock group we'll get stock item we'll get units of measure will get your voucher type and last one quit so this is the presentation or display on the screen when you open inventory info that's all so in this video i have explained you three topics that is stock category units of measure and the options available in inventory masters for maintaining the stock items in accounting software Hope you understood these three concepts and you can easily write in examination. You can get a good grasp on this topic. Inshallah, the next topic I'll continue in the next video.